Now this is a 70 years old patient presenting uh, with the history of pruritus, severe right hypochondrial pain, anemia, weight loss, and uh, the region which I have focused is basically the common bile duct. This tubular structure, my ring from here to here, 13 millimeters, 1.3 centimeter is the common bile duct. It should not exceed more than seven. So this is the mid region, intrahepatic part, and this is the extrahepatic part of the common bile duct. At the distal end, we see uh, an eco soft ecogenic area with no posterior shadowing or calcification in it. It's evenly ecogenic, and it measures approximately 13 into. 12 uh, millimeters. Now this can be a sludge ball and this can be a cholangiocarcinoma as well because cholangiocarcinomas are soft. Now this is the superior mesenteric artery in transfer section. This is the parenchyma of the liver. It is not, <coughs> it is not disturbed. There is no calculus seen within the uh, dilated common bile duct and the outer wall is smooth, regular, and uh, so this is uh, one of the findings regarding the common bile duct dilation. As we now let's see the rest of the findings. Now in the liver, we do see hypopoic area. This is one of these. This area is. Uh, rounded, <coughs> well demarcated, hypopoic, no posterior wall acoustic enhancement, thus solid. And this represents the metastatic lien. This is a magnified view, and we will see many others else as well. Not only this one, we will see many others. Now, here we are coming across the other one. This is the other ill defined. This is the other one. This is small size. These are small size mets. Okay, when I come to the normal view, this is the kidney with the liver. Liver is normal. Now you see there is intrahepatic bile duct acasia as well. As you can see that the ducts are dilated. Here you see in the right lobe of the liver as well as in the left lobe of the liver. You will see the dilation of the ducts. Here it is. See the dilation of the intrahepatic bile ducts. Not only this, you will also see again two mets, three mets rather, one, two, and this is the third one in the segment two of the liver. This is the dilated common bile duct, this area. This is the direct common bile duct, this is the portal vein, this is the hepatic artery, the portal triangle. Now this is the gallbladder and gold gallbladder shows muffled walls with now this area, this one is in fact the gallbladder. So, if you see that the walls of the gallbladder are totally muffled in the view and within it you can see ecogenic areas. And now this ecogenic area, this big one, is giving sharp posterior shadow and is consistent with the calculus, making, you, uh, making it easy for you to identify the gallbladder. So the gallbladder shows in the fine margins.
So with all these findings, here you can see intrahepatic biotech dilation in this segment. You can see again the hypopoic green grounded. Here you find this is a case of gallbladder uh, pathology of aggressive nature. The reason being that we cannot define it centio, it's being identified by the cancer eye it contains. And uh, secondly, uh, we cannot rule out the possibility of phalangiocarcinoma uh, at the distal, most distal end of the uh, common bile dilated common bile duct. Here it is, these echogenic areas in the dilated bile duct. You see, this is the dilated bile duct, this area, this one. So there you and now we should see, we must see if uh, what is the status of the pancreas in all such cases. Now this is the head of the pancreas, this is the head of the pancreas, the body of the pancreas, the pancreatic duct, the suprenic vein, the vein. So this is the neck of the uh, pan uh, pancreas, the body of the pancreas, the head of the pancreas. So we do not see any pathology relating to the pancreas. No pancreatic mass is seen as a cause of uh, the mentioned pathology that you are seeing. So this is a case study of uh, obstructive jaundice of uh, aggressive nature. A glumba sal like a saro. Sakitu. Troco. Here you see that uh, this is the gallbladder giving sharp posterior shadow in total. No wall seen. Dilated intrahepatic bile duct. Dilated common bile duct with ecogenic material within it and uh, intersuppressed uh, hypopoic focal regions, hypopoic focal regions uh, within the liver that are consistent with metastatic lien. So this is a case of uh, obstructive jaundice of aggressive nature. Number one, because of the gallbladder mass, second possibility being pharyngeocarcinoma. Thank you.